So what is the volume of a cylinder? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching collegiate mathematics for nine years. And the volume of a cylinder, which is in the shape of a can most of the time, is follows one very simple formula here. And here it is. The volume is equal to pi r squared h. Now, the pi r squared looks familiar is because it's the area of a circle. And when you think about it in a cylinder, that makes sense because a cylinder actually has circular parts. The h refers to the height of the cylinder. So if you want to find the volume, you need to know two things. One, how tall the cylinder is, and two, what the radius is. So here's a brief demonstration. Suppose you know that the radius of the cylinder is 5 feet, and you know that the height is 8 feet. Now, because it is volume, you're talking about a three-dimensional figure, your final answer in volume is going to be in cubic units, or in this case, cubic feet. But once you have that established, you just plug everything in. So here we go. You have v equals to pi times your r, your radius is 5 feet, so you have 5. Always include the units so you have the correct cubic units at the end, times the height, which is 8 feet. So you have pi. Now, 5 squared is 25. Feet squared is feet squared times 8 feet. All it takes now is to multiply these numbers and these feet, and you're done. You have pi times 25 times 8, calculator or in your mind, is going to be 200. And feet squared times feet is going to be feet cubed, or cubic feet, which is what you're looking for. So as a result, the exact value of this particular cylinder would be 200 pi cubic feet. But if you wanted to find a decimal approximation, you could either plug in the exact value for pi, or as exact as it gets, or the approximate value, which is 3.14, and you'll get a decimal representation of the volume of the cylinder. So my name is Jimmy Chang, and that's an example as to finding the volume of a cylinder.